Hello there, Vervaka here in an A10C to give you a bit of a demonstration and tutorial video on the GAU Avenger 30mm rotary cannon, also known as that giant gun on the front of the aircraft. It's a very impressive piece of machinery. It fires those 30mm rounds at about 70 rounds per second. And they are high explosive and armor piercing and just it's it's very destructive and it's one of the most notable points of the A-10 and why it makes such an effective close air support platform. I'm going to do a little bit, like I said, of a demonstration, so let's get this started. I also want to explain how things work a little bit. So by pressing this button up on the front of the joystick, it's going to change the mode there on my HUD. And you can see one is called Guns. That is probably the most expedient way for me to bring up the gun system. And if you have your master arm and your gun arm switches on, then you are ready to start firing. And before I make my demonstration run here, I'll quickly explain how uh, the different gun sights work. And by using left and right there on this black hat on the thing with the HUD as the sensor of interest, it will change the different gun sights that I have available. Um, this one and this one are kind of iron sights. This is the 4,000 foot gun cross, and this is the 4,000, 8,000, 12,000 foot uh, pipper. These are just basic iron sights. And like, for example, if the distance between you and the target is 4,000 feet, that is your aiming cross. These are just backup iron sights, like I said. What you probably want to use are these CCIPs. This is a... CCIP means con Continuously Computed Impact Point, and it's that little cross there with the 4.8 on it. And as you can see, as I adjust the aircraft, it's changing and the number's changing. Well, the number is the distance between me and that point on the ground. And as I said, it's Continuously Computed Impact Point, and that means it's Continuously Computed an Impact Point. That's where it believes the bullets will land. That makes it very useful. Um, so this is a very useful cross, but this is the one I use the most. This is CCIP Reticule. It provides the same information, but it has some bars there that you can't really see because I'm so far away from the point. For moving target aiming, it has two points on it because of the two different types of ammunition that's in combat mix, which is the primary ammo used in the gun. The middle dots for the armor piercing rounds and the lower for the high explosive. Uh, basically, you try to get your target somewhere in between the two dots to get uh, both type of rounds effectively hitting target. Uh, and the other main feature is that the outer ring shrinks. Once uh, you get within two, basically there, it's 2,000 feet, the uh, outer ring will start to shrink. And so it's another visual indicator of how far you are from the ground, which is a helpful bit of information to know. Um, but on to the actual demonstration. You can see I've set up couple of trucks and some dudes just standing in a road and by pointing my targeting pod at them I have this indicator that points me where they are and so I can just walk my little aiming pipper right on top of that square and when I do I will squeeze the first stage of my gun trigger now the aircraft's PAC you can see pack one arm is armed there Precision Attitude Control. It uses the aircraft's elevators and ailerons to try to maintain that crosshair onto that point on the ground. It will also do this as I pull the second stage of the trigger, which is the gun firing, much like this. And I release the trigger, and we will fly out and see what we did. And it looks like success, death, and mayhem. And here's a view of what that was like for our poor victims on the ground. Now this gun's not only useful for tearing up little tiny trucks and little dudes standing around, 
This right here is a T-72 Russian main battle tank. And now I'm gonna hopefully give him an equally bad headache. Yeah, that's right, this gun is more than capable to destroy tanks. That's one of the main reasons why this aircraft is so useful, as it can provide such deadly close air support with its cannon against even tanks. Um, I've again, I've got the targeting pod pointed right at the little sucker, so I've got an indication on my HUD as to where that guy is. Zoom in some for you to see. All right. Now I'm attacking from the rear side of the tank where the armor should be weakest, as well as from above a little bit, which is also another great thing. I'm going to get the crosshair right exactly where I want it and then squeeze the trigger and let the aircraft hold itself there. Now this is a tank, it's gonna take some more, so I'm gonna wait for about 0.5, making this all the more dangerous. So right... Pull up, pull up. Here. Altitude, altitude. And now I need to pull up before I actually meet the ground myself. But let's see what happened to our poor friend down there. Yep. Bad day. Basic demo for you. Just some parting words of advice I have for you folks out there. Uh, your distance to target, so basically your distance from the ground, greatly increases your effectiveness. It's, it's greater round density on target. Uh, so this presents two major dangers. One is obviously not smacking into the ground, and two is the what are the other things that are on it. So, for example, if that tank had had other tank buddies, I would have been more than close enough for them to shoot at me with their top-mounted 50 caliber guns, and that can do a decent amount of damage, especially at close range. Uh, also, if there are AAA or SAMs in the area, you are just an easy target at that altitude, and if you get hit, there's not a lot of maneuvering room to recover. So be very aware of what's in the AO before you go in, and uh, any time you make a run like that, it's probably best to pull up hard, bank left, right, center, reverse it, use your jammer, drop some flares just in case because you never know. And also, don't be afraid of that precision attitude control. It is your friend. It will keep you stable on the run in and keep you stable while the gun's firing. So I hope that's some stuff to help you out. Happy hunting to you. Stay safe out there.